thinking of buying a truck? If you're shopping around, looking at websites, or even just watched a few pickup truck commercials during the big game, you may have seen manufacturers boasting of their payload capacity, throwing out some seemingly random number. But what is it exactly? And how does payload differ from the other important truck stat, towing capacity? Well, we're gonna tell you what it is and why it matters. So buckle up and let's get into gear. Simply stated, the payload capacity is about what your truck can safely support on all four of its wheels. This is opposed to towing capacity, which is the weight the truck can pull along, for example, like a trailer. A truck's payload capacity is the amount of cargo and passenger weight that you can safely add to your vehicle on top of the truck's curb weight. If you have your owner's manual, the payload capacity for your specific truck is in there. However, if you don't have that manual handy, you'll also be able to calculate the payload by following a formula using the Gross Vehicle Weight Rating, or GVWR, and curb weight information on a sticker on the inside of the driver's side door. The simple formula is GVWR minus truck curb weight equals payload capacity. So in short, payload capacity is the maximum weight of all the stuff you can load into or onto a truck. If you're new to the trucking world, you might not realize that payload and towing capacity are different, but they also go hand in hand. Towing capacity is not the same as GVWR, nor is it the same as curb weight, but it has something to do with the gross combined weight rating, or GCWR. In essence, this is the maximum weight the truck can pull in total. Curb weight, payload, towing, everything. You can usually find the GCWR of your truck on the inside of the door frame and the driver's side, and you should never exceed the maximum while towing. The vehicle manufacturer arrives at this number while performing safety tests during the development of the vehicle and during government mandated certifications. It exists to keep you and everyone else on the road safe. Today's trucks are marvels of engineering and can carry more than any truck owner would have dreamed of even 10 years ago. But there's, there's always a but. Even though your truck is built to handle the massive weight it's designed for, it still has a GVWR and GCWR. Exceeding those weight ratings can do long-term damage to your vehicle and may even cause harm to you. Here's a list of things that could happen if you exceed the maximum ratings. Loss of vehicle control, tire failure, damage to or loss of leaf and coil springs, frame damage, brake overheating and failure, transmission overheating and failure. Sounds pretty bad, right? Besides the obvious physical danger of a major accident, exceeding your truck's capacity can land you an expensive citation from the police. On top of that, your insurance company could deny your claim. So the bottom line is, don't exceed capacity. Not worth it. Before I tell you the best way to maximize your payload capacity, can you do us a favor and click that like button below and subscribe to our channel? It helps with the algorithm and more people will get to see our content. Payload figures on manufacturer websites focused on the best case situation, and often with added equipment, tow packages, and even the highest trim of a heavy duty model. So your truck would need the required minimum equipment. You can't increase your payload rating, but you can make your truck weigh less. For instance, changing from commonly optioned 20 or 22 inch wheels to smaller diameter steel or aluminum wheels will save weight. Removing bumpers or the spare tire will take off the weight and add to the cargo capacity. Anything added by you, on the other hand, such as winch, hitch, or bumper guards, will subtract from your payload amount. Here are some ways you can get the most out of your truck and some tips on hauling. It bears repeating. Pickups are built for towing and hauling, but there's a limit to what they can do. If you pass that limit, your braking, handling, and steering will be compromised, and you can seriously damage your truck. You'll increase the chances of component failure and be at risk of a rollover accident. Even if you've reduced the vehicle's weight in order to improve payload capacity, you're better off playing it safe. Take some time to prepare before you carry things. You may need to upgrade your bed with some truck racks, a bed liner, or rear bars to keep items secure. Keep the heaviest part of the load as low and forward in the bed as possible. Too much weight toward the back of the bed will cause your vehicle to handle poorly. It's not all about the weight either. Limit the height of the items in the truck bed as well. If you're going to carry taller items, get truck bed stakes to hold your payload safely. Keep oversized items toward the bed sides and secure them to the pickup bed rails with straps. Securing your payload prevents it from sliding around and affecting the handling balance of your truck. 
AAA's Foundation for Traffic Safety says road debris, including unsecured loads, caused over 200,000 crashes from 2011 to 2014. So do yourself and everyone else on the road a favor and use straps. Finally, if you're hauling oversized cargo, such as lumber, that extends past the bed of the truck, be prepared to attach a brightly colored flag that motorists can easily see. Make sure you check state regulations before hauling any oversized items. Have your own truck tips? Tell us about it in the comments below. And please like our video and hit subscribe for more automotive content because Bumper.com is in it for the long haul. See you next time.